In this video, I'll be teaching you a possible passing chord you can use to your chord 6. Okay? So I'm going to make this in the key of C for simplicity. And whatever you learn, you can now duplicate it to any other key of your choice. Okay? So this is the key of C. So this is your chord 1 in key C, your chord 2 in key C, your chord 3, your chord 4, chord 5, chord 6, chord 7, back to chord 1. Okay? So the first passing chord I can use to your chord 6 is actually called um, the seven three six okay so it's literally playing the seventh notes the seventh chord of your scale okay then playing the third chord of the scale before actually landing on the sixth chord of that scale okay so i can say that the seven and the three are actually acting as the passing passing chord to lead you to your chord six okay so some popular song that this seven three six is used in is um Alpha and Omega, we have I Love You Forever, and many more. So let me demonstrate some. This is one of them. You're the Alpha and Omega. We worship you, Allah. You are worthy to be great. So you can see what I did at the beginning parts. You're the Alpha. Then I'm going to my chord six, so I play. And oh me, this is seven, three, okay. Ega six, okay. You're the alpha, and oh me, seven, okay, three, and six. Mega again, concepts. Um, I'm actually the voicing I use most times is that my seventh chord. Most times these are my plates, and my third chord i play it in the major form so normally the third chord is actually minor but in this case we're going to make it a non-diatonic chord by adding this non-diatonic notes to it okay so most time we play the third chord as a major chord so that it gives it that pull to the sixth chord okay so this is how i do it Another song that you can use this in is I Love You Forever. So, this is how it goes. I, I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever. Love. Okay. So, this is the point I use this at the beginning part. I love you. So, now I'm going to my chord 6, which is this. So I love you for seven, then three, then six. I love you. And that song this is used in is as a dear palette for what? So as a dear palette for okay. The water so my heart. You understand? So um at the beginning part as the So I'm going to my chord six and I play seven okay <clears throat> seven three okay then six so another possible chord that can lead you to your chord six is your diminished chord so most time when you want to go to your chord seed your most time when you want to go to your chord six what you do is just count one note backwards from the roots of your sixth chord and play the diminished chord of that note to lead you to that sixth chord okay so in this case, if we are going to chord 6, what we are going to do, just count one note backwards, which is G sharp, and play G sharp diminished chord to lead us to our chord 6. The song that this works in is Awesome God by Sinat, okay? So these are its goals. Awesome God. So you can see what I'm doing my left hand. This is actually diminished chord. That is G sharp diminished chord before going to my chord 6. Okay? Awesome God. Okay, so you can see diminished chord leads well to your chord six also. So another strong passing chord that can lead to your chord six again is your dominant seventh chord. But this time the dominant seventh chord of the third chord. Okay, so this is your chord six and this is your third chord. So we're going to make the third chord the dominant seventh chord, and this will lead us strongly to our chord six. So an example that this is used um an example of a song that this is used in is 
is used in is um um Yeshua and Mashia okay by Nathaniel Basi. So let me show, show you the exact point I used it. Yeshua. Another example that this is used in or can be used in is called of in the song God of Mercy and Compassion. So these are its goals. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity. Oh. Okay, this is my donor seventh chord of my third chord. Before it leads me to my sixth chord. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity. Oh. Okay, upon me. So, I hope you learned something new. If you do, um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Okay, so we'll see you in our future videos.